So I'm here today to show you how to make some really cool Easter cookies. And the great thing about them is that around Easter time, if you want to get the family involved, it's such a good activity to do. I'm going to show you how you can actually make them. Then we're going to use these really nifty Easter cookie cutters and, and cut them out. And then I'm going to get these guys to help me decorate them. And I'm going to get on with the grown-up stuff and I'll call you back to get on with the fun stuff. So we're going to start off by popping some room temperature butter into a mixing bowl. Then some unrefined golden caster sugar. I love Billingtons. Now I am using an electric whisk because I'm being lazy, but you can do this with a, a hand whisk if you want some big muscles. So when it's all sort of nice and creamed together, you can see that it sort of goes quite pale. I'm going to add in an egg. And get back to whisking. So that's right when it sort of really becomes creamy now. And then finally at this stage I'm just going to put in some vanilla extract, just half a teaspoon of that. Next stage we're going to get our dry ingredients in there. So I've got some plain flour, I'm just going to sift that in, then half a teaspoon of salt, and then finally, some baking powder. So we're just going to sift this in. And then I'm going to mix this together. So just get a wooden spoon and give it a good mix. At this stage, you can probably even get your hands in there. And that's kind of how I like to cook. So then you just bring it together into a ball. Now, I'm just going to wrap that in some film. I'm just going to leave that to rest in the fridge for about an hour. And that will just firm up and relax. So I've got my cookie dough here, it's been resting for an hour, I'm going to get on with rolling it out. So just dust a surface, a kitchen surface, with some plain flour just to stop the dough sticking and get on with rolling it. So we're wanting to get this um, at about, to about the thickness of a pound coin. So there we are, now I think that's pretty much perfect. I am going to get my helpers in again to help me cut these out. So ladies. Right, so let's get cutting. And just give them a good squish down. And up. Right, so, oh, how cute are they? So I'm just going to pop them on the baking trays. And, oh, perfect, look at that. So now these are ready to go into the oven. They're going to cook at about 170 degrees for about 12 minutes. So if you guys want to stand back, We'll come back in a bit. So the cookies are perfectly cool now and we can get on with icing them. Are you excited guys? Yeah. Excellent. So I'm going to put a layer of icing on it and this icing is made out of unrefined golden icing sugar which not only tastes so much better but look at that colour. I mean it's golden. Delicious. Lovely. So who wants a bunny? Uh, me. You. Excellent. So the trick to doing it this way is to make sure that you have your icing wet. That way, your decorations are going to stick to it. When you're ready, all you need to do then is lay them on your wire rack to dry for about an hour until the icing is firm. Then you can eat them. Alternatively, you can just ice the biscuits and then use your icing pens to decorate. Hours of fun and look what we've come up with.